ready contention raised by the council for the applicant is that pw1 was suffering with a serious ailment like chikungunya and so he could not examine himself in the court on a few dates and adjournment was sought and also granted by the court but later on at some stage the adjournment was refused and evidence of pw1 was closed in the midway this closure of his evidence is likely to cause serious prejudice to the interest of the prosecution another submission is that the statement of pw2 also appears to have been misplaced and in place of it some carbon copy is said to have been kept on the record and that also speaks about the high irregularity which has crept into the proceedings and in that regard the statement of pw2 needs to be recorded again but the presiding officer seized with the matter is not acting in accordance with law therefore the proceedings should be transferred to any other court para while rebutting the submissions placed by applicants council it was pointed out by sri rahul chaturvedi learned council for the opposite party number 2 that the matter has already reached at its terminating stage and the transfer application has been moved only with the object to scuttle and stall the proceedings moreover if the applicant felt aggrieved by any of the orders passed by the court below they should have been challenged before the superior court which has not been done so far and instead of challenging the judicial orders passed by the court below in a superior court the applicant has jumped the gun and chose to move the transfer application which does not appear to be a justifiable course it was also pointed out that the accused are in jail and any unnecessary prolongation of proceedings will seriously prejudice the rights of the accused para all the contentions which have been placed by the applicants council appear to be in the nature of criticism of the orders passed in judicial capacity by the trial judge if any order makes the applicant aggrieved he should have challenged the same in the superior court adopting proper legal recourse but the same does not appear to have been done a judicial officer may pass a correct order and may also pass an incorrect order that is how and that is why superior courts come into play to look into the correctness of the subordinate courts order and then pass appropriate order with regard to the same different courts like the courts of revision the courts to entertain applications under section 482 of crpc the courts to exercise powers to issue writs etc with separate jurisdiction have been carved out to exercise such respective jurisdiction in the high court but passing of the incorrect orders even if it is presumed that the same has been done does not constitute a legitimate ground to transfer the trial para while exercising the jurisdiction of transferring a trial from one court to another this court does not deem it fit or even proper to adjudicate upon the legality or otherwise of the orders passed by the court below there is hardly any material available on the record which may indicate that the presiding officer is or was acting unfairly or dishonestly or was acting with prejudice 
और वॉज इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय सम एक्स्ट्रानियस कंसिडरेशंस एंड देयर फोर दिस कोर्ट फील्स डिस इनक्लाइंड टू इंटरफेयर और टू प्रोसीड टू ट्रांसफर द ट्रायल द अलीज इनकरेक्ट और द इलीगल अप्रोच ऑफ द ट्रायल कोर्ट मस्ट रिफ्लेक्ट दैट द सेम ओज इट्स जेनेसिस टू सम एक्स्ट्रानियस एक्स्ट्रा जुडिशियल फैक्टर्स विच मे बी सेड टू हैव टेंटेड द जुडिशियल अप्रोच ऑफ द जज अनलेस सच अ पॉसिबिलिटी अपियर्स प्लॉजिबल दिस कोर्ट ऑर्डिनरी डज नॉट फील परसुएडेड टू एक्सरसाइज पावर्स अंडर सेक्शन फोर नॉट सेवन ऑफ सी आर पी सी ओनली ऑन द ग्राउंड ऑफ द ट्रायल जज हैविंग पासड सम इनकरेक्ट ऑर्डर